Happy Thursday. in me. I'm feeling good. I'm working on some images for a blog post I'm scheduled to, to release later today. Got a bunch of other random little things to do, a little consulting work. It's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it. So my schedule's been kind of weird the last few days, or the last week or so. I've been going to bed super late because I've, you know, gotten home from either a gig or whatever else was going on and then I have to edit. Which is fun, I get, end up with this like huge burst of energy once I start editing, even if I'm really tired, I just, I'm really enjoying it. Then I go to bed, but then I try to wake up relatively early. The last two or three days, Meg and I went on a run before 7 a.m., and even when we didn't, you know, I'm trying to get up before 7, it's usually around there. And then I try to work for a while, the morning I, I, I can't get that focused or inspired, so it ends up being a lot of... You know, maybe researchy stuff or reading or goofing off if we're being honest. And then I take a nap for like 20 or 30 minutes right after lunch and then I wake up and then have this hyper, hyper focused afternoon of productivity which is awesome. And then the nighttime is the nighttime whatever I'm doing. I want to find a way to double up on that hyper focused afternoon productivity and have it in the morning. Now, I did actually have a very productive morning this morning, and I th it leads me back to this this kind of this motto I was thinking of <clears throat> and trying to live by for a few months a while ago, and I kind of stepped away from it for a little bit, and I'm trying to relive it and rethink it, and I was just calling it Just Start. Meg pointed out it's a little uh, similar to a sh certain shoe company's motto, <laughs> but regardless, it makes me feel better, and for me, I goof off or I procrastinate or I do something, it's way too easy to do that and I know it's easy for a lot of people. But the second I start, I end up getting into whatever I need to be doing and I work hard on it and I remain focused. So for me, I need to just start and that makes everything better. To get you. Meg and I started a run, and we got like four and a half, five minutes into it, and she got a call, a work call. She's on call this week. I'm going to turn around so you can see me. She's on call, which means she has to answer all the after hours calls, all the people in their office trade off all the weeks, so every six or eight or something weeks she is on call. Anyway, she's dealing with that right now, so we've just kind of been walking for a few minutes. We'll get back at it when she's done. So we ended up finishing up that run at uh, 3 miles, 3.01 to be exact, and the pace is probably somewhere in the 9.20 to 9.30 mark. It told us 10.41, but that was after walking, you know, half a mile or something at 17 and a half pace. Um, so I think, I don't know, and then based on what I kept looking at, it was hovering between 9.17 and 9.36, so I'm going to, I'll be fair and say it was like a 9.30. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we've just been hanging out. I've been catching up on all the work. Meg's doing some filing of uh, some old, old crap I had in the closet. And now I'm cooking some dinner. Make a little fried rice. Got a bunch of random stuff in the fridge, so I'm just going to throw it all in and make some dinner. We're going to hang out a little more. Meg's computer, as you know, has been on the fritz, so I'm doing that whole hard drive replacement thing I mentioned. Ooh, inside of a computer. Man, I started watching this documentary called Fastball. It's all about the pitch in baseball. I think Kevin Costner produced it. It's freaking rad. It is so cool. All the baseball, the history, and the new guys, and just talking about how, you know, throwing speed. I mean, it's just about a fastball. It's riveting. Anyway, can't watch the rest of it tonight. Gotta start editing. 
do a couple other things, take a shower before I go to bed. I hope you had a great day. Hope tomorrow is even better. So let's keep being awesome. Well, I was about to start editing, but there's like a pursuit going on in the neighborhood. Whoop. I hear they might be coming. I heard sirens in it faster than, I don't know, it caught my attention. And a cop car came whipping around like this and slid over this street there. And then another one came from back here, went straight, and then another one came this way, made a left, and went up here. And then they kind of faded out for a minute. And then I heard them coming again, and some car was coming down the alley that's like right over here. And then a cop car behind it, and then they went that way. Then the sirens kind of stopped. And then they started again. But now they're gone. Actually, it reminds me of this time, I don't know, five, six years ago. I was living about a mile and a half, mile and a quarter west of where I live right now in a neighborhood called University Heights. <clears throat> and I was at breakfast one morning. It was like a quiet Sunday morning before a gig. I was at breakfast at this place called Monica's. I don't think it's there anymore. And it's like out on the cliff, kind of in this real nice part of the neighborhood where a bunch of nice houses are and everything. But anyway, I was sitting there at breakfast, you know, random strangers all in the place and we hear a bunch of cop cars and a helicopter and fast cars going and stuff so we all kind of look and the car comes whipping around in front of us whoa crazy so we're all standing out there watching and the car comes around again and skids out and he looks like he's coming straight at us so me and you know six seven whatever other people like dove back into the restaurant because we thought we were gonna get hit it was crazy we were all fine the car did hit the curb a little bit and then took off, and then I don't know what happened, but, uh, yeah, nuts. Just got me thinking about that.